Alright, so this is a copy of the Declaration of Independence of Texas. And I know a lot of people don't care about Texas, but any American could benefit from hearing what they wrote in 1836. And we should probably do one now, any and all of America. When the government has ceased to protect the lives, liberty, and property of the people from whom its legitimate powers are derived, and for the, who and for the advancement of whose happiness it was instituted, and so far from being a guarantee for their in, in, instimable and un, inalienable rights, become an, becomes an instrument in the hands of evil rulers for their oppression, when the Federal Republican Constitution of their country, which they have sworn to support, no longer has a substantial existence, and the whole nature of the government has been forcibly changed without their consent from the restricted federative republic composed of sovereign states to a cons uh, cons consolidated central military disposition. Well, no, despotism. Sorry, it's kind of uh, worn. In which every interest is discharged but that of the army and the persisted and the priesthood. The internal enemies of civil liberty, the ever ready minions of power, and the usual instruments of tyranny, or of tyrants. When long after the spirit of the Constitution has departed, moderation is at length so far lost by those who it's in power that even the uh, semblance of freedom is removed and the forms themselves of the Constitution discontinued, and so far from the petition and uh, romanstraces, ro remonstraces, I, I can't read this, it's way too blurry, uh, discontinued remonstraces be, being regarded the agents who bear them and thrown into the dungeons of the mercenary armies sent forth to force a new government upon them at the point of the law, uh, bayonet. So, basically, what we've been doing to the Middle East, basically what we've been doing to our people, basically what America is, is what this is saying. They, they, they left Mexico, the Mexican government is who this was written about because Texas was part of Mexico. The Mexican government was no longer handling the interests of the Texans. They actually wanted to take the cannon away from the Texans. That's why this flag was made. This is the original Texas flag. Uh, the Mexican government wasn't looking out for their interests anymore, so they wrote this and revolted. And I think that nowadays we feel like this couldn't happen. Like, this isn't something that's possible. This isn't something that people are allowed to do. They weren't allowed to do this. They, <laughs> they weren't. It's not, it's not like somebody told them, hey, why don't you guys write a constitution so we can send an army to come fight you? Like, that's not what happened. They... they felt like they wanted to be independent from this government that was no longer seeking their interests. Like, and I feel like a, a lot of people in America feel like the government isn't seeking their interests, but they also don't feel like they can sever themselves from that government. So, I, I just want to put this out there. I, I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. If you love the government, keep keep loving it. If you, if, if you needed to hear this, you're welcome. Alright, peace.